morning, everyone. Welcome to the Proverbs 31 Morning Show. My name is Maddie Vincent, and this is my friend and co-host, Ashley Jackson. Good morning, everyone. We're so excited that you're here with us today. And you know, we wanna know where you're watching from. So right now in the comments, let us know where you are at, and we are gonna read some of those so that we can welcome you right now. Yeah, I was just in the comments right before we went live. Okay. Uh, and I was asking if anyone's from North Carolina, because that's where Ashley and I yes, are right yes. now. Um, but it looks like we have Donna from Florida. Hi, Donna. We are hi. so glad that you're here this morning. Holly from Oklahoma. Um, Deborah from Texas. Hi, Deborah. We're so glad that you're <laughs> Good here. Morning. You guys, we're so grateful that you are part of our Proverbs 31 morning show family. Um, and I just can't believe another episode, another month is here. If you guys don't know, we meet here on the third Thursday every month. And it just seems like every third Thursday comes quicker and quicker it's every so month. It's so true. And it, didn't the summer fly by? I can't believe the it. The summer has flown by. And <laughs> I am sad. I am mourning the end of summer. <laughs> summer is my absolute favorite season. What are you guys' favorite seasons? Do you love summer as much yeah, as me? Yeah, good question. Yeah, what's your favorite thing about summer? The long days. I love long days. I love that it doesn't get dark till like 9 p.m. It is awesome. Yes. What about you, Ashley? Yeah. I love the slow pace. You know, we don't have to get up quite as early with the kids. Um, and you just kind of have that chill feeling and doing stuff late at night. And it's, you don't have to worry as much about that routine in the morning the next day. Yeah. But I have to say, I'm a little excited that it's coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like all routines just go out the window for the summer and then like September hits, your kids are going back to school yes. and you're rushing to try to get routines back into place? Totally, yeah. So I want to know, on a scale from 1 to 10, you guys, let us know in the comments how ready are you for summer to be over. 1, not ready at all. 10, ready. I am Completely. not ready at all. I'm like a 3. <laughs> I'm tired of the hot weather, but I am not looking forward to um, a new season. Yeah. And I would be on the higher end, mostly because my kids have reached their limit of staying at home. <laughs> and the limit has come to an end. And now it's time for them to return. So When do your kids start back at school? They actually start on Monday. On Monday. So, what yeah. about you guys? When do your kids start back at school? We yeah. want to know in the comments. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. I am excited about fall coming because I am excited about some new mm, routines. Yeah. I don't yeah. know about you guys, but sometimes in the summer, it's harder for me to get into Bible study and stick with the schedule because life is just so um, laid back yeah, yeah. Um, and you're traveling so much. But we are actually getting ready to launch our fall Bible studies. Studies, plural. Yeah. That's so exciting. Actually. Yeah. So if you guys don't know about Proverbs 31, we have online Bible studies. We refer to them as OBS. And if you are a part of that, we call you OBSers. Um, and we love that. And usually we do one every so often, but this time we are going to do two at the same time. So I want to tell you just a little bit about them. One is called The Dream of You by Joe Saxton. And she spoke at She Speaks Online and she was amazing. So that's something you would really want to look into. And the other one is called Mom Set Free by Jeannie Cunyon. And this is about being a mom and not getting lost in that and really letting God speak into our motherhood. So maybe you're falling into both of those categories. Which one would I like to do? Well, we have a tool for you. So what we're going to do is in the comments, we're going to put a link to a quiz that you can actually take. I love take. quizzes. I know, me too. I really do. And so even if you don't have kids, take the quiz because it's fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that will help you figure out which one might be best for you during this time. And at the end, you're going to be able to sign up for the studies, find out more information about it. And we are just, yeah, we're really excited about getting those started very soon, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited. If you guys don't know, online Bible studies is completely free. Mm. So you'll have access to exclusive videos, blog content, all the things. And all you have to do is buy the book, which is really Amazing. awesome. Yes. Um, also, we have a really fun guest today. And if we you've do. participated in online Bible studies in the past, you probably know who our guest is. Mm -hmm. It's Melissa Taylor. Mm -hmm. We love Melissa Taylor. Yes. She is the Proverbs 31 mom. She is somebody <laughs> that just to know her is to love her and to love her is to be poured into her. And we're just so grateful that she is here on the Proverbs 31 morning show this morning. Um, but before we invite her on, uh, we have a video. It's yeah. a really fun recap video from She Speaks 2020. We're going to play it, and if you are interested in joining us for She Speaks, you can get the replay mm. um, and get all the exclusive content. So we're going to go ahead and play that video, and then we'll invite Melissa Taylor on. 
before you're called to be a speaker, a writer, a leader, you're called to just simply love the Lord. Before you teach messages, you're called to apply messages. And before you are going out, I want to encourage you to press in. And so, God, we come standing on your promise. God, if you said it, you will do it. So, God, do what you said you would do. Though trials come on every side, I feel like going home. Friends, don't let the giant of small thinking, don't let the giant of limited thinking, don't let the giant of in-the-box thinking take you over. Don't let it push you off the battlefield before you even get on. There's a job to be done, and God's still calling you to it. Welcome back, Melissa. <laughs> welcome Hi. to the morning show. We're so welcome. excited you're here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, we were just talking during the video how so many of you have put tin down <laughs> that they are ready for summer to be end to end. Me too. And Melissa said, "Yeah, me too. It's too hot. It's too humid and hot. You can't even sit outside and read anymore." So yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring on the fall. Yes, <laughs> I am not ready for summer to end. So I will be in mourning. You guys can <laughs> enjoy celebrate. your pumpkin yeah. spice lattes. Yes. yes. Melissa, girl. will you tell us a little bit about what you do here at Proverbs Thirty One? I will. Well, I think I get to work with some of the smartest and most creative people here at Proverbs. It's the ones who bring you your online Bible studies mm -hmm. and your first five studies. And so that's the team that, mm -hmm. um, that I'm on. And just getting to bring those, those studies to everybody has yeah. just been fabulous. Yeah. yeah, I lead that whole team and I love it. Okay, so fun fact about Melissa Taylor is mm -hmm. that she founded Online Bible yeah. Studies. Ooh. Will you tell us about how it started? Because it's a great story. Yes, you have said the nicest things. You make me sound so important. <laughs> the founder of Online Bible <laughs> Studies. <laughs> but yes, okay, so a while back, twenty, the end of 2010, I found myself in a season of life, mm. four kids, um, super busy, and I started working full-time here at Proverbs 31. And I just did not have time. Mm -hmm. I was being such a bad Bible study member. I was that girl <laughs> that wasn't showing up, mm -hmm. and I was stressed out, and I wasn't really getting it done. And so I dropped out of my Bible study group. But I found out I'm not very good at doing Bible study alone either. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do it with people. And so I had a blog, and I used it, you know, a couple times a week. I would write on it. But I thought, huh. Wonder if I invite a few people to do online an online Bible study, like to do a Bible study online, because right. online Bible study wasn't even something that you would say altogether back then. Yeah. And so I went and talked to Lisa Turkhurst, because she had a new book coming out called Made to Crave, which I was super excited about anyway, because yeah. I needed to get in line, being connected to God more spiritually, mm -hmm. and giving Him my time, and quit worrying about, yeah, you know, yeah. focusing on other things. Mm -hmm. And what I was craving, I needed to crave him more. And so she goes, okay, yeah, you can do it. But set a goal for yourself. Like, mm -hmm. how many people do you want to have? And I was like, ugh. I was like, okay, how about 50? And I thought, that is a ton. Like, I can't believe I just said 50. And she goes, no, no, make the goal 100. And let's okay. do that. Wow. 2,500 people signed up. And we cut it off at 2,500. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Because it you had to, I had an email account like to, that could email yeah. that many people. And if you went over <laughs> 2,500, you had to start paying for it. <laughs> and I did, didn't want to pay for it. Yeah, and so we cut it so off. Funny. But yeah. yeah, you know, I realized there were a lot of people like me who wanted to do Bible study, but maybe just they either didn't have a place to do it mm -hmm. or their life just wasn't accommodating having that weekly time mm -hmm. to go somewhere and do it. Yeah. And so busy women all yeah. over the world signed up and it's been going strong for almost 11 years. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Okay, that's so, so your crazy. first online Bible study, 2,500 people. Yes. The goal was 100. Yes. What's the biggest okay. online Bible study you've ever had? I can't even believe I'm going to say this number. It's like 126,000 That's people. a stadium. <laughs> I, it's I bigger. Than, I've never been in a stadium that big and yeah. I go to football games yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's bigger than the Taylor <laughs> Swift concert. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that's um, that is so crazy. Melissa, would you say that Starting online Bible studies and do, working with so many women and mm -hmm. seeing so many lives mm -hmm. change, right? right? We read testimonies every right. week in staff meeting from somebody from OBS that has life right. has been significantly right. impacted mm -hmm. by what you do. Is that part of what your purpose here on earth is? 
I never dreamed that. Like, I didn't have a dream to start an online mm. Bible study and have all these women join me. If you had told me that, it would have scared me, and mm. I probably wouldn't have started an online Bible wow. study. But, yes, my purpose has fallen right into that. In fact, partly because of what I do at online Bible studies and seeing the impact that it makes in meeting women and being um, having the opportunity to come together in community, I have real, that's been part of what has helped me realize really what my purpose is. Mm -hmm. Because for most of my life, if you had said, what's your purpose? I couldn't have answered the question. Yeah, that's so interesting. And I think a lot of us really do struggle with that because right. it's almost like this weird pressure that we're supposed to know what right. our purpose is. And we, I think, spend a lot of time thinking about it, trying to figure right. it out. Yes. And so how, how did that look for you? Well, honestly, it was overwhelming for me. Okay. And I think because I was overcomplicating uh, things. Yeah. And, you know, if you Google what is, how do you find your purpose, you find thousands and thousands of resources and books and people giving you advice on how to do it. Yeah. That is overwhelming. Mm. So don't Google it. Like, don't, <laughs> I know don't do if it. you're me, you're Googling it right now just to see if that's true. Yeah, don't Google it because it is overwhelming. And for years, I struggled because I wanted to be able to say, this is my purpose. Right. You know, people say, God created you with a purpose. And you're like, well, I don't know what my purpose is. Right. Is my purpose a wife? Is it a mom? Is it one of these roles right. that I already have, right. you know? And so I really struggled. Plus, I would see other people and they would say, like, well, I know my purpose is, and it would be some great big thing right. mm -hmm. that made a big impact, you know? And I would think, well, that is too that that's too big right. here I am in my my nice little neighborhood in Charlotte North Carolina and you know how would I ever do anything mm. like that but I realized it doesn't have to be this huge change the world kind of thing mm. okay maybe it is and for some people I'm so glad that God created sure. those people who could go and do things like that but um Y'all, it doesn't have to take a lot of time, a lot of money. You don't need a big social media platform mm -hmm. or um, or anything like yeah. that. God can use you as you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I think when I realize that, my purpose can actually be something I can live out today. Mm. That That's made good. a big difference for me. Okay, so you have me convinced, okay. Melissa. I think it makes a lot of sense that maybe your purpose is simpler than you think. But for someone right. like me or our viewers that are watching mm -hmm. in our Proverbs 31 Morning Show family, um, how do we come to this? Like, how did you come to that mm -hmm. conclusion? Okay. What's your biblical basis of okay. it? What's right. tell us all the things. Right. Okay, it's going to sound too simple, so I totally understand that, okay? okay. So just bear with me, but... In the Bible, right. and you know, sometimes you're like, oh, great, she's going to throw a Bible verse at me, and you know, <laughs> but I am, yeah. because in three out of the four Gospels, Jesus tells us to love the Lord your God mm -hmm. with all your heart, your mind, and your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, and that that is greater, mm -hmm. that, that all of that right there is greater than any yeah. of the commandments, okay? And there's no commandment greater than those. And so I've heard that verse for the majority of my Christian right. life, mm -hmm. but I never really thought about besides just going out and saying, of course, you're supposed to love God and love people. But a couple of years ago, y'all, I actually realized loving God and loving people, I think that's my purpose in life mm -hmm. is to do that. There are so many people that they don't feel loved yeah. or they don't feel accepted or they don't feel like they have a lot of value or mm. important. Mm. And I have found out that even in the smallest of ways, you can make a difference in somebody's life just by the way that you treat them. Mm. And no matter who they are, like you don't have to qualify to get love from me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, be nice to me. Okay. But you don't have to qualify, but yeah. you know, so no matter who you are, yeah. where you've been, what you've done, mm. you know, what you're struggling with. Um, I'm not going to throw a label on you mm. and I'm going to call you by your name, mm. the name that you want to be called of, because I feel like we can tell people that they're worthy, but there's something really good when you can show people that they're worthy. And this is something that when I look back, I realize it's always broken my heart, but I mm. would have never said, oh, my purpose is to make a difference in these things. And 
I remember coming home in elementary school and crying because someone was mistreated in school. Somebody mm -hmm. looked lonely. I would come home and tell my mom, you know, about about it. And of course, I didn't realize it then mm -hmm. that God would use moments mm -hmm. like that. But all growing up, or even now, when I'm walking down the street, I might notice somebody, and it just breaks my heart if I feel like they don't think they fit in or they yeah. don't feel like they have a place to belong. Yeah. I just want to show them, you know, that love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually she has done that for me. <laughs> before. Aww. Yeah. When I, she saw me crying yeah. and I didn't really yes. know you super well. Yeah. And she texted me later because that's just like her heart. And I think that's so beautiful because it doesn't take a lot, but it meant so much Aww. to me. And I just think that it, you would don't know how you're impacting right. people just by loving them. So as you started like, pushing into that, what has God shown you about your purpose? Okay, first of all, I don't have to look very far to live it out, mm -hmm. all right? That's very eye-opening to me because every day I wake up, I think, wow, I'm going to have an opportunity to live out my purpose if I'm intentional about mm -hmm. it and if I'm actually looking out for it, right? But the other thing, y'all, that God has taught me is it sounds easy, love God, love people, it's not. Mm. It's not always easy, and it's not always or usually even convenient. True. And so I've had to embrace humility. It's taught me a lot of humility. Mm. Um, I'm not perfect. Believe me, I do not get it perfect, and sometimes I regret mm. opportunities that I had that mm. I didn't take advantage of. In fact, I would say a lot. But um, it's just that draws me back to God, too. Right. You know, right. I think about Jesus, and... Um, so I use that as my, him as my example, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, and so I think your purpose can be something that impacts greatly or that a lot of people know, but it doesn't have to be. So we don't want to overcomplicate this yeah. whole, oh, what are you on earth for? What is your purpose? What is your calling? Sure. Because that can be, um, a lot, um, it can be really overwhelming. But I think the thing that confirmed that it's okay to have a purpose, like loving God and right. loving others mm. and that um, in one of the most popular books ever written on purpose <laughs> is called The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. And one of the lines in there just really confirmed this for me personally. Mm -hmm. He wrote, it's not what you do, but how much love you put into it that matters. Wow. And so that has kind of like been a driving thing for me. And then also with loving God, it's not just to look at you guys or look at you guys and say, oh, I love God and I love you. I mean, it's not like an act like that. Loving God to me means I'm going to spend time with God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to him. Um, I'm not just going to put him in this 30 minute box when I have my quiet time so good. in the morning, but we're actually going to be friends today. Yeah, you know, I we're going to dialogue during the day. Yeah. And so um, anyway, I love yeah. that. I love that. I think it's really interesting to see just how God's woven this purpose through your whole life mm -hmm. and it started when you're in elementary school like loving the people in your classroom and the people that go to your school but then it's just woven and through and right. it's not that you started an online bible study because you wanted to live out your purpose mm. you started it was kind of selfish <laughs> I needed the accountability yeah. and wanted people to do bible study with me yeah. but then in that in starting that God allowed you to live out your purpose right right yeah. right so for us that are watching what are our steps to figure out that purpose right because i would right. assume that we could probably find it from the time we were in elementary school up mm, until now so right. what do we do how do we find yeah. it you know i would first of all i would say start by praying mm. like ask god to reveal this to you share with him the desires of your heart and just, just ask him, start talking to him about it. And maybe even start writing things down, you mm -hmm. know, like just little things down. But there's also some questions that you can ask yourself. And I think these are really good to kind of help draw you back to what really moves you inside. Mm -hmm. And so here they are. What burdens your heart? You know, like what are you lying in bed thinking about at night? Or, or, or what do you find yourself praying about yeah. the most, okay? What do you wish you could do today about it? If you could, what, what would you want to do? Does it take you out of your comfort zone? Don't be afraid of that. <laughs> Who are the people right around you in your world? It is okay if your purpose is serving the people who live inside your home, mm -hmm. okay? 
it doesn't have to, again, it doesn't have That's to reach really across borders yeah. to be your purpose because God put you where you were for a reason. Mm, all right. That's good. Okay. Um, what has brought you pain in the past that you've learned from and could share with others? Mm. Because, wow, those painful times. Yeah. God is doing something in you. And so often when we can get through that, there's a message there or a purpose there that we can help someone else with. Mm. And then finally, what's one small step you can take today to begin living that out? Right. Mm. And for me, when I, I think when I really realized, mm. you know, I had been doing online Bible studies for a while and um, raising four kids. And for me, this purpose really came to life because I was showing a mother's love to a child that I didn't understand. Mm. And this was my child, okay? And you moms know, sometimes you see your kids struggling or you see them going through things mm. or maybe just their personalities or the way they're growing up or the, the things that they're, they're doing or they're mm. a part of. You don't understand it. So different from you. Mm. You don't understand it. Well, I have a child like this. And it's really opened my eyes to meet other people and to even hang out with other people that maybe I wouldn't have hung out with or gotten to know better mm. because maybe I would think we're just not alike or whatever. Yeah. But um, honestly, when you see also um, your own child kind of being put on the outside, mm. it breaks your heart. Or you see your own child being looked at and you can see in mm. a grocery store somebody is mm. sizing them up right now. Mm. And it broke my heart. And I thought, I don't ever want anybody to feel like this again. And mm. all of a sudden, I started looking at every person as somebody's child. Wow. Because I could think how I love my kids as a mom. And I would think about them mm. like that. And they all need to know, everybody does, that they're worthy of love. And you guys, just to show you, like, the fruit of loving this child. Mm. Just, I told you guys, I just found this letter yesterday, oh, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And it was written to me not even, well, it was Christmas, so about eight months ago. Okay. Dear Mom, this past year has been difficult for me, and you have consistently been here for me. You don't always understand, but I know that you're trying and that you will always love me, and that means the world to me. Mm. It's nice to wake up every day to people who love you no matter what. Mm. I love you no matter what, too. That is so <sighs> powerful. You know, I mean, people need love. And if they're ever going to know how much God loves them, yeah, they got to see that someone believes in them. That's so true. And, you know, let the Lord shine through you. And um, we don't have to yeah. worry so much about our words, but we can just allow God to shine through us and just so love, love people. And um, so that's kind of how it started. And in online Bible studies, I get the opportunity to do that. Mm through all the women because yeah. a lot of people sign up for online Bible studies maybe because they just don't have the confidence to take that step to walk into a church mm. or to go to a Bible study because my first Bible study I didn't want to join because I didn't know anything about the Bible right and y'all that's, that's why we do Bible right. studies. <laughs> that's what we okay, learn. right yeah <laughs> yes and you realize you're yeah, welcome here exactly. and so but um just with all this talk about purpose, it's one of the reasons I am so excited about the two choices mm. that you have to do, the online Bible studies in the fall, because both of these books are great from just discovering who God wants you to be. Okay, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm going to be participating in the Dream of You study. Yay. Mostly because I'm not a mom. I think the mom set free study oh, yeah. sounds great. Sounds I just great, don't yeah. have any kids. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to be participating in the Dream of You study. Ashley, are you going to be talking? I need to look into the, the mom set free because I need some more freedom, for sure, as a mom. <laughs> I am going to be doing, I've already actually done mom set free. I've gone through it, but now we're actually leading it. I and, love um, that. But yeah, both of these studies have some great teachings from the authors okay. and that you guys will get to do, and yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Guys, don't miss out. We're going to put a link in the comments. You can take a quiz, figure out which one's right for you. If you're not a mom, join me on yeah. the Dream of You study. <laughs> yeah. If you're a mom and you know that's exactly what you want to do, check out Mom Set Free. Yes. We're so excited, and we hope you will join us. Yes. yes. Yeah, we are so excited that you're here, and I think it's just so such a good topic because we're often just looking, like, why am I here? Right. Why am I on, on this earth? Right. And maybe it's not as 
far away as we think it is. Right. I think that's so beautiful that you have seen and almost like taken it on as a part of your job. You know, yeah. not online Bible studies, right. but my job is to look at who I can validate right. in front of me. And right. sometimes that's the lady at Target or that's someone you're having coffee right. with. It doesn't have to be this huge, big thing. And I just, right. I love that so much. And we're just so thankful for Melissa being here today. And I, as someone who struggles with my own identity in Christ, and I'm sure so many of us do, we just wonder, like, what does God think of me? And we need those reminders right. all the time. And we have this awesome new product that we want to show you. I have it right here. And I just want to tell you, it says on here, I am, and it says unloved, and it's crossed out, mm -hmm. and it says beloved. And it says unwanted, no, I'm chosen. Um, too far gone, because a lot of times we can feel like that, like, I have crossed those lines, I can't come back, nope, redeemed. And then it says forgotten, because a lot of times I think we do feel like no one sees me, no one cares, no one notices, and no, we're treasured. And so when we believe these things, when we let God love us right. like that, then we can turn around and give that love yeah. away as well. So if you would like this just to carry around as a reminder, you just put your coffee, your tea, whatever your favorite drink is. Um, these are available in our bookstore right now, and we're really so excited about them because they're so meaningful. I love that. They're so cute. Yes. Yeah. So check that out. The link will be in the comments for that as well. And we're just so thankful for this message today. Yeah, Melissa, thank you for joining the thank morning you. show. We're so grateful. Hey, if you want to join our Facebook group, mm. we're going to link it into the comments below. And some of the stuff from Melissa's message. Yeah. Is